Top 10 Action Movies on Netflix Trying to define action movie can yield several different answers, but we like to think of the genre as a run-and-gun, fist-to-fist escapism that stands the test of time, and occasionally comes with tinges of comedy or sci-fi. Hey guys, welcome to your entertainment channel, Netflix Tops, where we tell you about the top-rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of this video, because today's video is going to list down the top 10 action movies to watch on Netflix. So let's get started. Number 10. Hell or High Water Hell or High Water was one of the most acclaimed movies of 2016, earning multiple award nominations including four Oscars and three Golden Globes. The neo-western crime film follows brothers Toby, Chris Pine, and Tanner Howard, Ben Foster, on a vengeful robbery spree in West Texas. They target branches of the Texas Midland Bank, which is threatening to take away the Howard family ranch due to their sizable debt. But the robberies attract the attention of Texas Rangers Marcus Hamilton, Jeff Bridges, and Alberto Parker, Gil Birmingham. It's an intense story that's more a portrait of complex characters than an out-and-out -out action feature, though it does have some enjoyable action scenes as well. Written by Taylor Sheridan, the cast includes Jeff Bridges, Chris Pine, Ben Foster, and Gil Birmingham. Number 9. Ip Man This 2008 martial arts essential stars Donnie Yen as Ip Man, the legendary Wing Chun master who went on to train Bruce Lee. A wealthy martial artist living a dream life, Ip Man's life is thrown into chaos when the Japanese occupy his hometown during wartime. On the surface level, Ip Man is an opportunity to watch one of the best living martial artists play one of the most famed kung fu masters of all time, and it certainly delivers on the fight scenes that come with that premise, including an instantly iconic Wing Chun versus Black Belt set piece. But Ip Man is also a fantastic character-driven period drama rooted in history an apparent affection for the martial arts genre, and Yan is extraordinary, not just for the athleticism and showmanship of his choreography work, but for his charismatic, commanding performance. Written by Edmund Wong, the cast includes Donnie Yang, Simon Yam, Lin Hong, Su Wong Fan, and Hiroyuki Ikiuchi. Number 8. Wheelman Frank Grillo should be one of cinema's leading action stars. Cut from the 1970s cloth, Grillo is an old-school everyman tough guy, a real blue-collar badass. Grillo can grimace and load a gun with the best of them, but unlike the dominant figures in the Western action hero tradition, Grillo is also a trained martial artist who brings impressive physical command to his street-smart charisma. With Wheelman, Grillo takes on a different kind of challenge for an action star, a performance told almost entirely in close-up from the confines of a single vehicle that doesn't leave a lot of room to throw punches or fire heavy artillery. But Grillo and writer-director Jeremy Rush make the most of the minimalist setup, turning out a gripping, wisely calibrated B-movie about one high-octane night of crime that blasts off from the word go and never taps the brakes. Written by Jeremy Rush, the cast includes Frank Grillo, Garrett Dillahunt, Caitlin Carmichael, Shea Wingham, and Wendy Moniz. Number 7. Beyond Skyline a proud, pulpy B-movie featuring aliens that rip the brain right out of your skull, Beyond Skyline stars Frank Grillo as a cop at odds with his son, Johnny Weston, when an alien attack sends them both scrambling for their lives. Once the aliens make contact, the film ricochets through settings and characters at a breakneck pace, packing in a paperback book series worth of sci-fi lunacy into a single feature film that travels from subterranean tunnels to the nuclear wasteland of Los Angeles, to an alien ship, and all the way to Laos, where Mark teams up with rebels to battle the alien threat. You've got Frank Grillo playing hero with a baby in one hand and a space blaster in another, Antonio Fargas as a Vietnam vet who calls everybody bitch. Iko Awaias and Yaya Ruhain beating the shit out of giant aliens, and there's even an honest-to-god kaiju battle. Beyond Skyline won't be for everyone, but if you love a Bananas B movie, the future debut from writer-director Liam O'Donnell ticks all the right boxes. Number 6. Polar Polar is a very fun, very ridiculous, and very violent movie starring Mads Mikkelsen as a hitman nicknamed Black Kaiser. In the film directed by Swedish filmmaker Jonas Ekerlund, the Black Kaiser thinks he's just about ready to retire from his high-intensity assassination lifestyle, until he learns there's a group hunting down his associates and he's next on their hit list. Polar doesn't fancy itself particularly highbrow entertainment, instead it's a comically bloody hitman movie where every action set piece is more over the top than the last, but that's what makes it so watchable. Number 5. Time to Hunt Unrelenting in its pursuit of scenarios where guys point guns at each other in a sparsely lit empty hallway, Time to Hunt is a South Korean thriller that knows exactly what stylistic register it's playing on. 
A group of four friends, including Parasite and Train to Busan breakout Choi Woo Sheik, knock over a gambling house, stealing a hefty bag of money and a set of even more valuable hard drives, and then find themselves targeted by a ruthless contract killer, Park Hae Soo, who moves like a T-1000 and shoots like a henchman in a Michael Mann movie. There are dystopian elements to the world, protests play out in the streets, the police wage a tech-savvy war on citizens, automatic rifles are readily available to all potential buyers, but they all serve the simmering tension and elevate the pounding set pieces instead of feeling like unnecessary allegoric padding. Time to Hunt uses its elongated runtime to build sequences in a meticulous, considerate way that should appeal to viewers who have seen Heat, Collateral, and Miami Vice too many times to count. Number 4. The Town before he won an Oscar for Argo, Ben Affleck flexed his crime movie muscles with his pulse-pounding adaptation of Chuck Hogan's novel, Prince of Thieves, a Boston set caper that builds to a robbery at Fenway Park. While the premise might sound over the top, the execution here is the ideal combination of grit and flash, bouncing between scenes of working-class melodrama and bullet-strewn action. Affleck's no-nonsense ex-hockey player Thief works with his hothead best friend, Jeremy Renner, to pull off big scores, but the group finds themselves pursued by a determined FBI agent, John Hamm, who tracks them across the city. As far as heat tributes go, this one is top-notch. Number 3. Unknown It's best to go into unknown, well, unknown. All you really need to know is that Liam Neeson delivers an absurd man-in-peril performance, which means it's as entertaining as action thrillers come. Adapted from the novel by Dieter von Karwalter, the movie follows Neeson as Professor Dr. Harris, a man en route to a high-profile biotech conference who wakes up after a four-hour-long coma with his identity stolen. His wife, January Jones, doesn't recognize him, but she and everybody he knows seems to know a different Dr. Harris. Oh, and all of a sudden, he's at the center of some sort of assassination conspiracy plot. It's a premise you've likely seen many times before, but this one's slick, fast-paced, and of course, Neeson holds it together to keep you glued to the screen as he tries to piece together his identity and stave off terrorists. Number 2. The Harder They Fall The importance of black people to the taming of the West is a central thrust to The Harder They Fall, both as motivation for first-time feature director Jamie Samuel, who grew up watching westerns and wanted to see one starring black people, and for the plot. The actors, visual style, and musical choice elevate an imperfect script with memorable, if not completely unique, dialogue and scenes. The cast and performances are remarkable, and it's an aesthetically striking film with great set, sound, and costume design. Real-life historical figures are treated like folk heroes, for better or for worse. The Heart of They Fall has its problems, but it's a testament to the idea that there are still interesting things to be done in familiar genres, like inserting color aesthetically and demographically. Number 1. The Django Unchained the best thing about Quentin Tarantino is also the worst thing about Quentin Tarantino. He believes wholeheartedly in whatever he's doing. Most of the time, what he's doing consists of overly referential homage mashups with dialogue that would give most screenwriters carpal tunnel. The old video store clerk is sublime at saying important things through mediums that don't usually convey them. Kung Fu films, revenge fantasies, and spaghetti westerns for starters. He's an artist dressed as a Philistine, splattering the screen with cartoonish violence, when what he's really doing is blowing our minds. Although Tarantino's effort here in The Django Unchained isn't his best, it is the most ambitious, and for someone capable of so much, that means quite a lot. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.